afternoon, welcome to Nosey Road for this uh, league fixture, Saints versus Wakefield. And today's match day mascot is Stephen Makin. Stephen is nine years old and attends Tennis Street North Junior School. A great day for this lad. There he is, limbering up with the team. Hidden, out to my view at present, there he is in the middle of them, getting stuck in. Anyway, I'll run through the teams now for you. St. Helens first, of course. Number one, Beavers. Number two, Ledger. Number three, Lachlan. Number four, Halliwell. Number five, McCormick. Six, Clark. Seven, Holding. Eight, Jarvis. Nine, Harrison. Ten, Farber. Eleven, Platt. Twelve, Haggerty. Thirteen, Allen. Subs for today, 14, Round, and 15, Burke. The Wakefield team, number one, Diamond. Number two, Klein. Number three, Stanton. Number four, Eden. Five, Jowett. Six, Evans. Seven, Green. Eight, Hopkinson. Nine, Conway. Ten, Thompson. Eleven, Gittins. Twelve, Lazenby. Thirteen, Bell. Substitutes, 14, Lyons and 15, Smith. Here come the Wakefield team, just taking the ground now. Wakefield not having the best of fortunes uh, previously, like these uh, modern day seasons. Used to be one of the great teams, great players for them Neil Fox, uh, Rocky Turner, Don Vines, who also played for Saints. Going back uh, not so many years ago, they had uh, Wally Lewis playing for them. The great Aussie Wally Lewis, he was instrumental in uh, a beating Saints 1983-84 uh, season at Wakefield when we lost uh, 31 points to 22 after giving Wakefield a good beating here at Nosey Road by 50 points to 12. Anyway, as we say, uh, Saints named last week as uh, Daily Mirror Ladder Cars Team of the Month for September, having just been presented with the citation just by the tunnel. Anyway, Saints now 18 league wins on the trot. Last beaten against Bradford here at Nosey Road, the 19th of January, having getting beaten Silence there for ex Saint Jimmy Law, as I say, unfortunately, died last week. Anyway, getting ready for today's match. Saints back in the league programme after an unfortunate defeat against Wigan in the Lancashire Cup 22 points to 16 at Central Park. Saints uh, in the driving seat most of the match, but unfortunately, running out losers. Anyway, should have no problem today. Back in full swing, back to Wakefield. Wakefield haven't won a match this season. As I say, Saints played 5-1-5. 202 points for, 62 against. Wakefield only played four, lost four, 58 against. Uh, 58 for, I beg your pardon, 132 against. Anyway, there is our match day mascot out with the officials now. Stephen Makin, as I say, in the centre of the field, shaking hands with the uh, Wakefield captain. Wakefield mascot, the referee and uh, Saints uh, captain for today, Neil Holden. Young Stephen uh, making his way to the touchline to Joe Guest, waiting on the touchline. As I said, Joe Guest takes care of these match day mascots, does a grand job with the little fellows. Anyway, Mr. Mean, today's referee. Let's hope his name is nothing to go by and hope he has a good game. Right, ready for the kickoff now. My name's Ron Hoof. I'll be with you for the first 40 minutes, the first half, with the incidental commentaries by Alex Service. 
Great field kick off deep, taken by Steve Alliwell. Steve Alliwell dummies, drives on to the 25 yard line. Wakefield getting with a good hard tattle straight away. First penalty of the game to Saints. That's every chapel Paul Lockley and Josh for touch. Dave Addison feeds on to Pat Jarvis. Pushes him off, Pat Jarvis, this big Aussie test prop, St George prop. Jarvis onto Addison, takes it left to Neil Holden. Oh, Paul Farber on the burst. Good ball from Paul Farber. Saints driving forward, every goal. Neil Holden now, acting half back, takes it left to Sean Allen. Holding on the loop, inside to Agate. Wakefield Tattler's up to it, bundle him down. Ten yards inside, Wakefield half. Dave Addison now, taking it, brings it right, up to Brett Clark, Jarvis on, Wakefield tattles it up to it, bundle him down, quick play the ball, Dave Addison going on his own, turns round, goes on his own, good little graft to this Addison, rather aggressive tattling there by Green, the uh, scrum half for Wakefield, inside, blindside, Andy Platt, feeds the ball back, up to Barry Ledger, across the knee load, knee cold and kicks through, good up and under for the fullback, too deep. Too deep kick by Neil Alden. Diamond under it, but the ball is too deep. <laughs> Went to the scrum half here, head pouring with blood. He's uh, complaining vigorously, he's something to talk, he just went in hard anyway. Wakefield in possession, Wakefield taking it right. Second row forward, uh, Lazenby, driving forward. Wakefield approaching the halfway line. Bringing it left. Good run there from this uh, standoff half. Steve Evans, yes, yeah, Steve Evans, ex Hull. Last saddle now. Conway acting half back, takes it back to. Diamond tries a drop kick, I think. Uh, looked like a drop kick anyway. Saints retrieved the ball. Oh, Wakefield retrieved the ball. Bit of slap for later by Saints anyway. Wakefield taking it over. Long pass over to Evans, playing on the wing here. Looked uh, slightly forward, but uh, Saints penalised for offside. First penalty to Wakefield. I beg your pardon. Penalty free kick to Saints. Paul Lachlan kicks for touch, gains a valuable few yards. Saints driving forward. Pat Jarvis turned round, unloads to Dave Addison. Neil Holden out to Brett Clark. Long pass over to Kevin McCormick. Space for McCormick there, just brought down by the uh, Wakefield winger Klein. Nearly through there, good long passing there by Saints and uh, nearly paid off. Out to Jarvis. Jarvis driving to the tw over the 25 yard line. <laughs> Wakefield penalised for offside. Good play the ball by Saints. Roy Agatey driving forward. Andy Platt there, going through, out to Dave Addison, Sean Allen, across the line, Neil Holding, Paul Farber on the burst, pens the hooker off, lovely ball to Steve Alliwell running through, but the uh, Wakefield tattlers are equally up to it, good tattling by Evans, held him down, anyway, so it's taking it left, Neil Holding, rubber kick, sides through, finds touch, 15 yards from Wakefield line. The scrum of the match now, as I say, 15 yards from Saints line. Green to feed the scrum. 
Referee not happy with that. Penalised Dave Harrison. In the scrum, differential penalty. Steve Diamond to take for touch, kick for touch. Wait for now, bringing it left. Trying to get out to their own 25 yard area. Thompson, feeds it across to Green. Big Hopkinson on the burst there. Wait for on to number 11, Tommy Gittins. Conway now acting half back. Turns round, takes it to Nigel Bell. No way through for these Wakefield forwards. Referee Mean, line the Saints out. Anyway, up to Conway. Wakefield taking across to the right. Fancy pass there from Lazenby over to Wingman. Line. Brought down just short of the halfway line. Last tattle now. Last tattle of the six tattles. Wakefield man kicks for touch. Ball kept infield. Steve Alliwell in possession. Give a short ball into Farber, the ball hit Farber, went forward. Wait for you now, scoop up the loose ball in possession and immediately referee Mean penalises Saints for offside. <coughs> Steve Diamond steps up to take this bounty kick and elects to go for goal. First attempt for goal. Saints now with 18 league wins under the belt. Last beaten on the 19th of January, 18 8 by Bradford. Previous best league wins uh, was by Widnes, uh, 16 and 73 74 season. So it's uh, imperative that Saints capitalise on this, this league. They've got to take it by the scruff of the, scruff of the neck today. Um, get as many points as they can because this is the, the teams like Wakefield we should be uh, beating them into the ground to enable us to get uh, in the championship get ahead in the championship anyway Diamond fails with that uh, penalty kick Saints drop out from the 25 yard line now and Wakefield driving forward well brought down Sean Allen playing loose forward today and Andy Platt Wakefield's uh, Hooker Conway bringing it left Wait for you forward, still driving forward. Hooker, come way again. Second it right, Hopkinson, driving forward, just gets into Saints half now. As ever, come way, acting half back. Gonna take it right now. On to Green. Cross field to Gittins, cross again to Lazenby. Uh, hint of crossing there. Definite top structure that the referee just rules a knock on. Second scrum of the match now. So we can get it a bit cleaner than the first one. Sun just coming out now. Fine day here at Nosey Road after a rainy start this morning. Ball comes out Saints side. Neil Holden in possession. Green and not retiring, but the referee uh, lets it go. And, uh, Neil Holden, Brett Clark acting half back, brings it right to Sean Allen. Driving forward, Sean Allen on his own, looking to get the ball out to Dave Harrison in support. First tackle now. Neil, out to Dave Harrison, Pat Jarvis on the burst, feeds on to Paul Lachlan, Paul Lachlan pushes him off, drives in for the corner and goes over in the right hand corner here and first points on the board for Paul Lachlan as he goes over for a try, Sage now in the lead, four points to nil. Well Alex, did well there Paul Lachlan? Yes Ron, took his try very well, looking round for support uh, initially early on but did well to finish interesting to see if he converts his own try as well a difficult to attempt at goal Saints uh, desperately looking for the breakthrough at this early stage and I would suggest also the, the player who can make the half break together with the killing pass when you've got the likes of Liptrot, Arkwright and Pinner off the field uh, well it spells problems 
Thank you, Alex. Anyway, Paul Lachlan has uh, just gone over for a try. He's fourth of the season. He already kicked 53 goals so far this season. Hope to improve on this today. And anyway, he lines up. No. Takes it across left in front of the posts. Nowhere near. Anyway, 4 0. Saints in the lead. Early points on the board for Saints. Pat Jarvis there breaking through, feeding onto Lachlan in support. Lachlan did well, defended two defenders off. They had Ledger in support, but elected to go in in the corner. Space was very tight over here, elected to go in at the corner. And uh, Saints four points to nil now in the lead. Steve Diamond to resume. Picking up to the Eddington stand. Knocked down by Kevin McCormick, taken down by his knees. Drives forward and just gets over the 25 yard line. Dave Addison takes it blindside. Paul Palmer driving down the blindside. Looks to unload, but the Wakefield Tattlers have him. Takes now, bring it right. Agate unloads onto Jarvis. Takes it over to Brett Clark. How good is the space here? Long pass from Clark to uh, Paul Lachlan. Ball goes to ground. Referee says play on. Barry Ledger scoops up. Barry Ledger going forward. Loses the ball. Ball goes back. Onto Allison. Takes it to hold it. Ball to move. Up to Farber. Out to Roy Agate. Roy Agate loses possession. Goes down injured. And wait for his scoop up. Have the ball. Stanton with the ball. Over there on the right hand wing. Out to Gittins. Gittins in possession. Wait for driving forward. Looks like Roy Agate got a slap in the face there with the as the ball went loose, anyway, Wakefield bringing it left, over to Green, across to Lazenby, Lazenby just managing to be brought down on the 25-yard line, Hooker Conway acting half-back, bringing it left, over to Green, Green dummies his way through, feeds onto big prop Hopkinson, Wakefield driving in, Conway again, acting half-back, back to Green, dummies his way through, they're gaining no ground at all, Wakefield, the last tattle of the sequence of six now, and they've gained no ground at all. They've come back, actually. Back to Diamond. Diamond has a go for drop goal. And finally gets a drop goal. Wakefield on the point. So one point to Wakefield. A drop goal by Diamond. Well, Alex? Yes, yeah, got them in the match here. Yeah. They were in Saints. So just outside Saints 25. Last tackle. Uh, might as well get something out of it. Uh, Steve Diamond doing what he does best. Kick the ball. And 4-1. Uh, Thank you, Alex. 12 minutes gone, 12 and a half minutes gone now. So it's four points to one in the lead. Neil Olin to restart. <laughs> Olin kicks crossfield, just gets over the 25 yard line. Wayfield coming away with the ball. Brought down by Pat Jarvis and Dave Harrison. Good work rate this Harrison gets through some graft in a, in a match, there's no danger. Wakefield in possession. Conway acting half back as ever, taking it over to Green. Green dummies as Saints are penalised for offside. Diamond steps up for the penalty kick. Poor one by his standards, just over the halfway line. Conway now, acting half-back, Big Hopkinson coming on for this first drive forward. Brought down by a combination tackle, Paul Lachlan and Andy Platt. Conway again, taking it right, onto Green. Onto the other prop, number 10, Thompson. Nearly breaks the tackle, finally brought down by Paul Farber. Wakefield again. Fancy move, driving forward onto Nigel Bell. Dave Harrison has him, no way through for this Bell. Conway as ever. Wakefield, come to Green, Hopkinson, making space, brought down by Paul Lachlan, just managed to scrape over Saints 25 yard line. Wakefield penalised, I think, not playing the ball correctly. Penalty to Saints, just evens them up now, I think, three, three penalties uh, each. Can't afford to have uh, shabby play the balls, I've been driving forward well, Wakefield. Getting into Saints half. Anyway, Paul Lachlan kicks for touch, gains about five yards. Dave Harrison to restart. Dave Harrison feeds on to Roy Agate. Down the blind side here. Agate looking to one row to Dave Harrison inside. The ball was clamped 
by the Wakefield Tafflers of Jowett and uh, Green. Anyway, it's second away. Over to Brett Clark. Long pass to Steve Alliwell. Too long. Because the ball goes out of his grasp. Finally knocked on, I think. Uh, referee rules a knock on, yes. Bit of an overlap over there for Saints. Just a bit high. Long pass. The ball goes to ground. And a scrum down now just inside Saints half. Green to feed. When referee Mean finally gets the scrum to his liking. Green to feed. It's what he did do. Gets away with it. Wayfield come out in possession. Bringing it over to the left. Out to Diamond. Up in the full. From the full back. Tattled by his opposite number, Phil Vivers. Also up in the attack. Jowett. Looking for the way through. Jinking round. Brought down by Phil Vivers. Steve Alliwell. Phil Vivers uh, take a bit of a knock there. Limping. Into Big Hopkinson, driving forward, looking to unload. Out to Diamond in support. On to Nigel Bell, Wakefield still in possession, still going forward, Wakefield. Referee Main seeing something in the tattle there. Bringing out Sean Allen, I think, is it? No, Pat Jarvis. Pat Jarvis and uh, Paul Farber, has a little word with Paul Farber. Reckons he's threw one in at the tattle. And a penalty kick to Wakefield. Steve Diamond electing to go for goal. He can get to Wakefield back in the game here now. Just losing at present, four points to one. Diamond now lining up. First penalty kick. Having already dropped a goal in the 12th minute. On the corner, tight kicker Diamond lining up now, taking his time. St. Scroud whistling a bit. He'll not be put off, takes his time, takes the kick and goes clean between the posts. 17 minutes gone now. Wakefield back in the game, four points to three. He'll hold him to resume now. After taking this game by the scruff of the neck, pile as many points up as they can. Neil Holding kicks deep. Taken by Klein, the winger. Drives over the 25 yard line. Saints tattles into him. He'll have to peg him back in their own half now. Giving him too much ground to work in. Second tattle now, Wakefield. Out to Conway as ever. Feeds across. Lays him back. Dean Bell, um, Steve Bell bursting through, Bell bursting through, on to Conway again, to Green, out to Gittins, crossfield here to Eden, acting half back Lazenby, takes it right, over to Steve Evans, kicks downfield, poor kick off Steve Evans, well fielded by Phil Beavers, as he drives forward to the halfway line, steps out of one tackle, and going forward Phil Beavers, ooh, a rather high tackle there, but uh, brought down, 30 yard shot of Wait for the try line, Saints bring it away, Dave Allison, cross to Sean Allen, Roy Haggerty, short ball onto Andy Platt, brilliant ball there from Roy Haggerty onto Andy Platt, Andy Platt drives forward, brought down 20 yards from Wakefield line, Paul Lockman acting half back, Saints taking it left, over to Sean Allen, round the back Allen, takes the ball again, Sean Allen still in possession, Dave Allison acting half back, takes it left, Wakefield penalised for offside, just to the left of the posts, I think Paul Lachlan will step up and have a go at this uh, penalty goal, yes. Wakefield are penalised for it, so Mr Mean obviously keen on today. It's a pity we didn't have him uh, perhaps on Wednesday against Wigan. They were lying a bit offside, but uh, they was getting away with it, and if you're going to get away with it, you're going to do it, aren't you? Anyway, Paul Lachlan lining up. See if we can get it to his... Uh, First goal of the day. Saints leading at present, four points to three. 19 minutes gone in this first half. As we said, Paul Lachlan already kicked 53 today. Scored five tries with today's effort. Well up on the point scoring. Anyway, he lines up, bangs it over, no problem for Paul Lachlan. As we say, 19 minutes gone. Saints go further in the lead now. 
six points to three. Steve Diamond wants to resume for Wakefield. As you said, not had the best of fortunes this season. Oh, Steve Diamond places the ball. And Steve Evans lines up straight to Neil Holding. Well taken by Holding with a bullet kick. Uh, fended it well and drove just over the halfway line. Anyway, Dave Allison, quick play of the ball. Passes on to Brett Clark, unfortunately. He knocks on. Wakefield in possession. Lays and bit. Brings it away. Green, acting half back. Come with the Uka down injured. But Green brings it blindside. On to big forward, Hopkinson. Green again. Marsh and his troops. Acting half back. Taking it right. Over to Gittins. Gittins trying to find a way through. Green again. Acting half back. Taking it right. Brings it left. Change of direction now. On to Bell. Bell looking for the way through. Pens off the Saints. Sattle has finally brought down. Farber around the top. Brett Clark making sure his progress has his legs. Anyway, last tackle now. Diamond back to Diamond. He's the tactical kicker. Ledger manages to get a finger to it, I think. But the ball still goes into touch. Unlucky there, I think, where Barry Ledger just lost his foot in Alex. Aim so wrong there. Very good kick by, uh, by Steve Diamond. Trainer on the pitch, yeah, the weight people trainer, seemingly uh, all the time at the moment. Well, Green doesn't get away with that one for once. Oh, blatantly tried to feed the scrum right in front of the referee. I mean, the referee's always there, and uh, ball comes out, is uh, immediately penalised. Penalty kick for Saints. Differential penalty to Saints. Paul Lachlan. Kicks down for here, gains about 15, 20 yards. Saints just get out of their own 25 yard area. Dave Harrison going to resume. Feeds on to Paul Farber. Paul Farber on the burst. Makes 10 or 20 yards. Dave Harrison acting half back. Takes it left. Brett Clark. Neil Holding. Pat Jarvis on the burst. Neil Holding goes on his own. Inside to Dave Harrison. Ooh, Dave Allison looking for a way through. Lines man's on. A rather aggressive tackle by uh, Green, the scrum half. And he's looking round as if to say, well, it's not me. It was a real uh, aggressive tackle, that. The uh, referee, yes, definitely have words with him. He doesn't like it, but he's going to get it. Well, that was a rather aggressive tackle there by Green, the scrum half, Alec. Yes, this fella Green uh, is getting rather worked up at the moment. Uh, the linesman doing his job. Green giving him more burbles. If you look, it stay on this field at this rate. I think uh, that knock to his head uh, must have done damage to his brain. He's still having a word with the linesman now. Anyway, penalty to Saints. Paul Lachlan kicks for touch. Dave Harrison to resume. Wakefield is going to try and mix it. They're going to come unstuck. Anyway, on to big Pat Jarvis. Head tackle again, though. Ball finally got out. Brilliantly got out by uh, Jarvis. Ball taken cross field. Lachlan over on the other wing. Siding forward. Bends one off, going towards the left-hand corner, but he's bundled down into touch. I think Saints perhaps should have made a bit more of that, but uh, the ball goes into touch. 15 yards from Wakefield line. Well, we've got a Wakefield play down on the far touch line with uh, number 10, Thompson, down here. He's finally got to his feet. Scrum down now. 15 yards from Wakefield try line. Everything all right over there. All back to square one. As they pack down. Green to feed this scrum. Ball comes out Wakefield side. Just a mean straight in there at the action. Penalises Saints. Knee up in the tattle is indicated by Mr. Mean. Anyway, Diamond takes this penalty kick for touch and finds it midway between the halfway and Wakefield 25 yard line. Big Hodkinson, Hopkinson, the uh, Wakefield prop. First receiver drives forward. Feeds on to Thompson, the other pop, prop driving forward. Just manages to get brought down on the halfway line. Wakefield siding through the Lazenby. Big second row forward. Out to 
Scrum half green. Rayfield still in possession. Last tattle now. Over to green. Cross kick. Ball rebounds off Saints player. And it's fielded by Phil Beavers. With green going in. The action. He's a fiery little character him. Uh, by the looks of things, he's not going to last a full match anyway. Saints bring it away. Steve Alliwell. Steve Alliwell in possession over there on the left hand side. Kevin McCormick going to be acting half back. Takes it right. Onto Pat Jarvis. Feeds on to Sean Allen. Pushes two off Sean Allen. Finally brought down by three or four Wakefield Tattlers. Dave Addison. Taking it blind. Side over to Paul Farber. Paul Farber loses the ball. Finally, fell on by Wakefield uh, Prop Hopkinson. Losing a bit of ball just uh, at the wrong time there, anyway. Wakefield in possession. Just managed to get into Saints half. Conway has ever acting half back. Over to Bell. Nigel Bell driving forward. Conway again, the Uka. Over to Green. Green looking for the way through. Feeds on to Gittins. Well clamped there. Andy Platt round the bottom. And uh, Pat Jarvis around the top. Wakefield again, bringing it left. Inside two, number four, Eden. No way through for this fellow, Eden. Green acting half back. Must have something up his sleeve. Takes it over to Bell. Crossfield again to Steve Evans. No way through for Evans. Caught flat footed there. Anyway, last tackle now for Wakefield. Conway acting half back. Takes it back. Is he going to have another go for drop goal? No. Cross field kick from Diamond. Well fielded by Kevin McCormick. Kevin McCormick comes in field. I say he was out on his own over there. He had it to come in field. Saints in possession. Neil Holding. Blind side. Pat Jarvis driving down the blind side there. Left hand well. Just brought down short of the 25 yard line. Bit of a skirmish over there I think Stanton the wait for the centre going down Green there again in the thick of things well how many times have we got to speak to this fella if it is him or whether it's uh, he's the captain I don't really know anyway wait for you penalised yes Stanton was in there wait for you penalised for some offence obviously in the tattle and Paul Lachlan takes his penalty kick for touch. Hands touch. Smack on the halfway line. Paul Farber. Dave Allison acting up and taking it right. Deal on onto Pat Jarvis. Pushing him off and looking to unload. His grip was clamped and no way through for him. Neil Holding now. Great for you, penalised again for offside. Well, they've been lying up. They want to lie up. They must suffer the consequences. Penalty kick again to six. Paul Lachlan again. Hines touch. 20 yards from Wakefield try line. Dave Harrison now. It's up to six to capitalise on this. Blind side. Roy Agate. Looking to unload again. Out to Dave Harrison. Nigel Bell had his hands clamped. Anyway, Harrison on to holding. Takes it left to Brett Clark. Looking for a runner. Andy Platt. Nearly got through there, Andy Platt. Wakefield tackling extremely good today. Sean Allen going to act in half back now. Takes it left to Brett Clark. Brett Clark looking for the way through. Jinx round Brett Clark. Unloads inside. Ball comes back. Saints still in possession. Looking a bit sixes and sevens, but Saints still in possession. Neil Holding on to Pat Jarvis. Pass out to Brett Clark. Ball's gone down. Wakefield in possession. Gone way, I think it is. The hooker picks the ball up and drives forward. Unceremoniously bundled down there by the Saints Tattlers. I don't think he'll be coming through like that again. Anyway, out on to Hopkinson, the big prop forward for Wakefield. He takes it right and he's brought down just over the 25 yard line. Green again, acting half back, taking it through. Referee on. Number 10, Thompson, going down. Uh, he reckons Andy Platt a high tattle. I don't uh, think so myself. He was going down in the tattle. But anyway, the referee mean has a word with him. 
Wakefield players protested over there. Well, Alex, I didn't think that was all bad, that tattle by Andy Platt on uh, Thompson, the uh, prop. Well, I think he was certainly... Uh, he did right to penalise Andy Platt there, but uh, it's like emergency ward. Ten out there for the Wakefield team. The train's never been off the field since the kickoff. Certainly, as we've said, uh, in one or two games last season, uh, the Saints now will have to uh, concentrate on football. Uh, Andy Platt takes a, a rather disconsolate walk to the dressing room, so we presume, we presume he has been dismissed. In Ham straight away, I think uh, the protest of the Wakefield players had quite a lot to do with it. By the same token, by the same token, looks like uh, the prop number 10, Thompson, who is uh, having to leave the field, Ron. Well, I don't know what uh, sort of a decision that was. I mean, he'd had a word with Platt. He'd walked away, he went over to the player and uh, then uh, called him over and he sent him off. Uh, I don't know what's going on at all. Uh, must have changed his mind, gone back anyway. Wayfield get the penalty. They're in possession, so it's down to 12 men at present. Hopkinson driving forward. Feeds on to Bell. Wakefield trying to make a substitute here. Yeah, both teams down to 12 men, obviously. Thompson uh, gone off anyway. He's replaced now by Smith. So Wakefield back to a full complement. 13 players. Saints penalised again in the tattle. Diamond kicks for touch. Finds touch on the 25 yard line now. Well, a strange decision there by referee Mean. Anyway, Conway acting half back onto Hopkinson. Driving forward. Are they going to be rejuvenated now this way for inside? They've driven hard. Out to Lazenby. Lazenby, this ex sulky half forward. Anyway, slow there in uh, Wakefield in possession. Wakefield driving forward. Saints tattling well up to him. Conway, as ever, acting half back. Going to bring it. Oh, he's going to go on his own. Looking for a way through on his own. Brought down. Two or three yards short of Saints line. Wakefield now. Well, good tattling by Saints. Fed on to Gittins, Tommy Gittins, but no way through. Brilliant Saints tattling. Wakefield still in possession, bringing it cross field. Tries to kick through, ball goes down. Saints in possession, dropped on by Roy Agate. Well, Saints will have to put it together now. Neil Holden, long pass out to Paul Lachlan. Plenty of space here. Lachlan hurting down this way. Pushes one off, goes inside. Good play there by Paul Lachlan. Three and four Wakefield tacklers. Brilliant pass there by Neil Holden. Onto Paul Lachlan. Plenty of space and he drives forward. Immediately they play the ball. Wakefield penalised for offside. Relieve a bit of pressure there for the Saints. But they've gained a full 60 yards there from their own try line after being under pressure. Anyway, Neil Holden with the penalty kick. He likes to kick for touch. Finds touch. 15 yards from Wakefield line. Saints crowd urging them on here now. They want to score on the board. We're only winning 6-3 at present against a team that hasn't won a game this season. Anyway, Dave Harrison. Acting halfback. Pat Jarvis, first receiver. Driving forward Jarvis, looking to turn around and unload. Wakefield tattlers have his grip clamped. Dave Harrison again. It's that green again. He's in the thick of it. He's... Uh, He's certainly picking his weight there with Jarvis, isn't he? He's definitely not long for this game. Anyway, Saints still in possession. Agate tries to go on his own, picks up and tries to go on his own. Wakefield Sattler's tried to bungle him into touch. P penalty, yes. Referee me penalises Wakefield. He must have shouted L as they still carried on with him. Move anyway, quick play the ball. Neil Olin on to Pat Jarvis. Sean Allen, yes! And he goes over to the right of the post. Did extremely well though, Sean Allen. Two and three Wakefield players hanging on to him and he managed to go over to the right of the post. Well, good bit of quick play there, Alex, uh, resulting in a Sean Allen try. 
Yes, Ron, uh, a good try for the scene, so well taken by Sean Allen, very forceful. The crowd certainly getting behind Saints, uh, getting on the back of the referee, the crowd. And uh, Sean Allen. Scoring the second Saints try. Good uh, line kick, as they say, by Neil Holding. Nice there. A word about this uh, Pat Jarvis. He really is like a Sherman tank, and he's sucking uh, three, four, even five Wakefield tacklers in all the time. Thank you, Alex. Well, Saints go further into the lead, 12 points to three now. 35 minutes gone of this first half, just... Uh, Five minutes left in this first half. Two tries to Saints by Lachlan and just by Sean Allen. And two goals from Paul Lachlan. Saints 12-3 in the lead. I said down to only 12 men. That's a uh, controversial sending off of Andy Platt. Uh, wait for restart. Diamond kicks it deep. Steve Alliwell receives on the full. Drives forward. Finally brought down midway between Saints 25 and halfway. Saints bringing it over, Pat Jarvis onto Brett Clark, tries to jink through, unloads to Dave Allison, to Sean Allen again, just losing his feet as it comes through. Anyway, Phil Beaver's up in the attack, on the blind side, Paul Farber bringing it down this right hand touch line, loses the ball, Wakefield playing knocks it back, ball still loose, Bell finally drops on it, Dave Allison tackles him, brings him down, over to Big Hopkinson, the forward, driving over to this left wing here. Hooker, Conway as ever acting half, back onto Green, onto substitute Smith, gets through Smith, good run by this fresh man Smith, looking inside for Steve Evans, blatant forward pass, onto Evans, onto Conway, rock down, good tackle there by Barry Ledger, good try saving tackle, it, it is instigated by Smith, anyway wait for you, taking it right, plenty of support, out to uh, Stanton, takes it over to Klein, so it's finally bring him down. 20 yards from Saints line now, Wakefield on the attack. Wakefield bringing it cross feet, lays and bay, loses the ball. Referee rules a knock on. Well, good bit of play there by the substitute forward for uh, Wakefield Smith, Alex, uh, but a definite hint of a forward pass from Steve Evans. Yes, uh, <coughs> it reminds me of a supercharged Stan Owen uh, run, uh, Stuart Smith, but uh, a good break, nice little uh, movement there for Wakefield. Yes, Neil Allen to feed the scrum, ball comes out. Saints side and uh, penalty to Saints. Wakefield scrum half green. Guess who? Not retiring. Paul Lachlan now lining up for this penalty kick. Differential penalty from the scrum. And he touched just inside Wakefield's half, about five yards inside Wakefield half. Dave Addison to resume. Paul Farber, first receiver on the burst, driving down the left hand wing. Gains 10, 15 yards, Farber. Hates bringing it right. On pass over to Brett Clark, kinking his way through Brett Clark, going over to the left, still in possession, Clark, going through. Good little half back, this Clark, gets through some graft. On to Roy Agate. He'll take him on Agate. Bends one off, still going, tries to unload. Finally does so. But uh, to Dave Harrison, I think, is it? Yes, Dave Harrison in support, but he's brought down Dave Harrison. Neil Orley, short ball to Pat Jarvis, overlap here on the right. Phil Beaver still going through, still on his own, Phil Beaver. Out to Barry Ledger, Barry Ledger coming inside now, trying to create a bit of space for himself. Smith tattles him, Saints still in possession. Referee means trying to get the Wakefield team back on side. Anyway, Dave Harrison, as ever, well, penalised Wakefield for uh, offside at the play of the ball. As I said, they, they've been doing it all the match, but uh, they're going to suffer the consequences. Penalty kick for Saints now. A minute to go before half-time. Saints in the lead at present, 12 points to three. Penalty goal just to the right of the posts. About 20, 20 yards out, 25 yards out to put Saints further in the lead. Lachlan lining up, already kicked two today. Lines up, makes no mistake with that one. Straight between the posts. 
14 points to 3 now, Saints in the lead. As we say, all on full time now. Perhaps uh, an odd bit of injury time to play, maybe. Due to that uh, injury to number 10, Thompson. Anyway, Diamond lines up to restart. Deep kick into St. Tarr, straight to Kevin McCormick. Catches it, no problem. Drives forward over the 25 yard line. <laughs> Dave Harrison acting half back. On to Sean Allen. Dave Harrison again. Taking it right. Roy Agate looking for the spin. Pushes one, pushes two off. Looking for support, Agate. Couldn't get the ball out. Brett Clark was with him, but he just couldn't get shut to that ball. Has the ball taken off him in the tattle by Scrum half green. Conway feeds onto Conway, just drives into Saints half. And again onto Green, takes it right, over to Gittins, on to substitute Smith. Big Hopkinson coming through. Loose ball onto Brett Clark. Inside to Phil Vivas in support. Phil Vivas still stood up. As the hooter goes for half time. It's only a minute of injury time played there. Saints go into the dressing room uh, at the end of this first half. 14 points to three. Uh, first half tries from Lachlan and Sean Allen with three Lachlan penalty goals. Welcome back to Nosey Road. The second half, some Italians in wait for Trinity. It has to be said, a very uh, undistinguished first half. The Saints leading by 14 points to three. Two tries uh, this afternoon. Paul Laughlin and Sean Allen forcing his way through. <laughs> Referee uh, Mean getting a lot of stick from uh, the Nosey Road crowd. Especially after his uh, dismissal of uh, Saints second row forward Andy Platt. So Saints will resume this uh, second half with 12 men. And it's uh, Neil Holding to restart for the Saints. Kicks deep into the Whitfield 25. Roy Haggerty uh, in the attacking straight away. Mean Machine Jarvis. Tackling there by Paul Farber, bouncing his man down. Acting half back at Billy Conway. Ball inside there to Stuart Smith. Jimmy Green, the acting half-back. A nasty uh, head injury in the first half. <laughs> and that's very good uh, territory indeed for Wakefield Trinity. <laughs> the bad news for Wakefield is... It's Neil holding to feed the scrums. Tends to go head and ball these days. Neil goes round the blind side. Still two devastating tries on Wednesday at Wigan. He's taking a bit of a knock there. Paul Paul off loads in the tackle. John Allen, Jarvis, Beavers, Steve Halliwell takes them on, tackled by Stuart Smith. Sean Allen, Jarvis, Clark, looks for the gap. Support was forthcoming there. Sean Allen, Jarvis, dummies. Throws a rather wild pass out. Wakefield come away with it. Phil Beavers retrieves. 
arguably uh, Saints most improved player this season Phil Whitfield bring the ball wide number three Glenn Stanton a uh, member of the Balmain club in Australia and 12 Lazenby ex uh, Old Kingston Rovers Half-back to Sean Allen. Neil Holding loses it. And that referee mean gives the scrum. <laughs> Meanwhile, uh, Saints two substitutes, Tony Burke and uh, Paul Round warm up. to uh, feed the scrum in the literal sense. The penalty goes to St. Helens. Paul Laughlin will uh, doubtless try and find touch. That's uh, set the Saints up nicely for the uh, opening moves of this half. Pat Jarvis. Snapping half back, works the blind side to Roy Haggerty. Saints lining out now. Allen Clark looks for the gap, looks to offload. Green has him. Neil Holding. Roy Haggerty drops the ball. Neil Holding at working the blind side there. To the, uh, to the turf. Very anonymous kick that by Wakefield. Forced Phil Beavers to retire four yards. Beavers comes away with it. McLock uh, McCormick in support. Beavers holds on. Steve Hallow acting half back. Sean Allen in the uh, very much a playmaker role uh, this afternoon for the Saints. Some useful games there last season in that particular position. Jarvis offloads to McCormick. As a Stuart Smith lies on top of the tackle player, Jarvis makes the dummy run. Allen holding. Holding with what's turned out to be a more than useful kick for touch. Beaver's just receiving some uh, treatment there. All round about to come on now for the Saints. But it won't be long before he's joined by Tony Burke. Wakefield come away with the uh, ball from the scrum, Steve Evans. In the uh, twilight of his career these days, Steve. Wakefield to keep the ball moving. Steve Diamond, Green, and to Russell Klein. Ian Jowett, I beg your pardon. off and completes the tackle oh, 
he attempted kick for touch over oh, McCormick said well there's nothing you can do about it uh, rather bounce like that but in usual pitches for this time of year very very hard indeed the ball bouncing unceremoniously uh, over young McCormick's head and Saints make the substitution Dave Harrison giving his usual 100% today replaced by Paul Round Saints still come away with the ball. Must be a model in that somewhere. Bill Beavers now. And the ball goes to ground once again. Well, Ron, uh, on occasion this afternoon, Saints play has been uh, remarkably sloppy after Wednesday night. Yes, uh, just can't understand it, Alex. Uh, as you say, after Wednesday, they played out of the skins. Just can't seem to get it together today. Losing a bit of, well, getting plenty of drop ball. Anyway, referee there having uh, scrum half green out yet again. Now, what's he going to do to him this time? Obviously, scrum infringement. How many times have you got to tell this fellow before you do anything? Anyway, penalty kick to Saints. Back to you, Alex. Afternoon. Roy Haggerty, first man in, driving out wide. Well, so near and yet so far there for Barry Ledger. A superb attempted take, just couldn't quite to hold on. Another scrum now. Wimpers, uh, James Green to feed. Pardon, Neil Holmes put the ball in. Comes away with it, tries to work the line. It's out to Clark. The Wakefield back line hovering on the brink of offside. Ball round, works to loop with Neil Holden. Score now 16 points to three. Paul Laughlin having uh, a good day with the boot so far. Laughlin again catches and drives forward. A uh, rangy character, big stride. Once again, uh, Stuart Smith seemingly offside. Play on. Neil holding Jarvis. Uh, Paul Palmer. Jarvis on the dummy run. And these uh, Wakefield players can certainly give it out. Jarvis. Jarvis offloads unsuccessfully. And this time it is a St Helens player. Well, an adopted Australian. Pat Jarvis, who incurs 
the wrath of a referee mean? Perhaps if Stuart Smith was brought on side more at the play of the ball, that wouldn't sound wrong. Yes, that's true. That's true. I mean, uh, the referee was at the back of him there. The linesman's got a, as good a view as we got here, and there was definitely nothing in that. But anyway, uh, they've been lying up, say, on the play of the ball, offside, what have you. He finally gets to his feet. Not even had a sponge around him or anything, Conway. He's uh, rubbing his head. Perhaps it's a good job it was his head. Anywhere else, it might have hurt him. Now then, Ron, I think we'll be giving blood shortly for this Jimmy Green. Seems to have lost a heck of a lot. Green it is. Wakefield keep the ball alive. And uh, Jarvis seemed to get a little kick there. And while the ball rolls loose, referee Mean signals another six. Wakefield come away with it. Wakefield now bring this ball left, right rather. Ball goes to ground. It'll be Paul Laughlin to kick for touch. Sean Allen, Roy Haggerty, first man in, takes them on. John Allen, Paul Farber. Strong driving run. Jimmy Green, uh, once again, very controversial. John Allen offloads to Roy Haggerty. A piece of uh, a little bang in the mouth. Stuart Smith brings the ball away for Wakefield. Green once again at the other things. The move ends with hooker Billy Conway. Number 11, uh, Tommy Gittings, the ex Warrington player, trying to uh, get the ball away. Once again, the train. Two trains on the field for Wakefield players. The attempted kick for touch. Successfully caught by the sweeping Neil Holding. Offloads to Phil Beavers. Phil Beavers to Paul Laughlin. Pat Jarvis now. Saints bring the ball left. There's an overlap here if it's used. Paul Round goes for the gap. Paul Round takes them on. Pass one. Offloads to Halliwell. The support's there, the support's there, Brett Clark finishes in superb style. Well, it's a case of super sub Paul round wrong. Brilliant try there, Alex. This is, we've waited a long time for this. 15 minutes gone of this second half, so you're talking about 40, 55 minutes. We're waiting for uh, this try. The crowd erupt here, brilliant. As you said, Paul Round, ever since he come on, he got hold of that ball there, and he was full of determination. He sighed through the defence, fended off the Wakefield tacklers, fed inside to Steve Halliwell in support. Steve Halliwell did well, got the ball out to Brett Clark, as ever in support, and Clark goes over to the left of the post. Brilliant try. 20 points to three now, Saints in the lead. And a brilliant try there. As I say, instigated a definite foul round. Look full of running. Substitute back today, Paul Round. As I say, he's uh, usually a forward, but uh, he's a substitute back today. Make no mistake. Lachlan lines up for this kick, and he bangs it straight between the posts. 22 points to three now. Saints in the lead. Saints making a substitute now. Tony Burke coming on for Paul Farber. Wakefield also making a substitute. 14. 
Lyons coming on for scrum half green. I don't think he wants to come off. But if he doesn't come off, I'm afraid he'll be either walking off or getting carried off. Ron, if he doesn't come off, he'll bleed to death by the looks of him. Started the game. And Barry Ledger underway route for the same. So that's a, a distinctive style of running. <laughs> Referee waves play on round, passing the ball to Tony Burke. Who gets uh, immediate treatment from Steve Evans. Well, that didn't need much spotting. Hooker Billy Conway nearly has to pay to get in at the Dunriding Lane end. Paul Lachlan with the uh, kick for Saints. We'll be looking for more points on the board. They got that hungry look again. Big Tony Burke drives in now, first man. Roy Haggerty full of running. Hopkinson completes the tackle. Sean Allen, Neil Holding. Sean Allen again. Trying to work the ball wide. Roy Haggerty, spooned out to McCormick. McCormick can see, a, can see a gap a mile wide. Brings the ball infield, tackled eventually by Stuart Smith. Allen, the run around with Clark. Inside to Holding. Comes to Knott. And Stuart Smith, the... Uh, himself about a bit as the saying goes. <laughs> Saints retrieve the ball from the scrum. Guys are well done out in on the popular side. Clark to Paul Round. Most unusual standoff uh, we've seen in a long while. Rex Clark. Clark to Jarvis. And that was quite well tackled. But all that by the way, field defence. You can't stop that man. Well, Ron, Jarvis did the spade work, and it's the Australian connection once again. Yes, good work by Jarvis. I thought he'd got through on his top there. Uh, that familiar long stepping, you know, trying to step out of the tattles. But he was finally brought down short. Quick to play the ball onto Brett Clark. And uh, no defence at all there. Clark just dives over in front of the sticks. Another four points to Saints. 26 points to three at present. Lachlan shouldn't have any problem with this goal. Making it 28 points to three. Saints down to 12 men after just half an hour with that uh, controversial Andy Platt sending off. But anyway, uh, as it usually happens, a team seems to play better with uh, 12 men. And Saints certainly have done after this uh, 15 minutes into the second half. They finally put it together with that superb try. And we've just got another one five minutes later. 20 minutes gone of the second half now. 28 points to three. Saints in a commanding lead. You're on. And this Wakefield trainer is probably the most overworked man on the field this afternoon. As Steve Diamond restarts. <laughs> Paul Lock with that rangy stride. running by the same second rows. The ball round and the centre position takes them on once again. Yeah. 
Neil Holding trying to work the blind side. The tackles have come in quick and fast. And really, I have to say, there's no excuse for that on both sides. Very lax referee in there, uh, 14 for Wayfield went in, a terrible tackle on round, right round the head. Uh, it seems that the, the referee indicated that Paul Round put the head in and he's penalised it. It's just definitely a swift uh, head butt if it was, I never saw it. But anyway, penalty to Wayfield. You round though, with all the injuries uh, to key players, we don't want any more suspensions. However, it is a physical game, it's a game where players do things on instinct. Tony Burke with the attempted tackle. Tony Burke for bouncing off his opponent there as the big number eight Ian Hopkinson, a forceful player. Some more points on the board, 28-3 now of course, Lions again acting half-back, Lazenby, to Stuart Smith. Gittins, Lions, well tackled by side on both sides of the play the ball. Laughlin clears his lines with the penalty. Sean Allen beats the Burke. He's not a bad lad, this Jarvis. He said once he gets in uh, in the swing of it, I think, because he's uh, he's fending two and three off, trying to get this ball out, and this is what we want: uh, take the defenders in and try and get shut of the ball. Anyway, the, we did well though. We went over from one side of the field to the other. Unfortunately, brought uh, ball ends up in touch over on the far side. Scrum down now. Terrible scrum. It's collapsed. Wakefield in possession, I think. Oh, you're right, Ron. Stuart Smith clattered to the turf. The tackle. Team number two, Russell Klein. Klein to his... Uh, Centre Stanton. Ball by Gittings at. Smith. 
nice ball back. It's the temporary scrum half John Lyons clattered to the turf by Holding and Clark. On way to Adams. Get ins. Good ball again, Lazenby. Beavers misses him. That's a good try. I always feel that uh, Phil Beavers doesn't uh, give himself much margin for error with this uh, sort of diving tackle run. Well, a good ball though from Wayfield. Uh, he saw the he saw the gap. Fed it onto number twelve, Lazenby, and he scooted through. As you said. Two Saint Sattlers couldn't bring him down, and he goes over to the left of the posts. First try of the game to Wayfield, 28 points to seven now, with Steve Diamond lining up to attempt this conversion. So Wakefield now. Just scoring the first try, 28 points to seven. Diamond lining up. Thank you, Ron. <laughs> Steve Diamond, this is with the attempted conversion for Trinity. Hits the post, bad luck. So the score remains at 28 points to seven. Neil holding uh, to restart. It's deep into the Wakefield half. Tackle by Haggerty and Round. The Saints wing purring. McCormick trying to force an opposite number into touch but a referee mean had already called hell mean by name and nature say the crowd Conway Nigel Bell they loose forward It's Russell Klein coming inside, looking for work now. Australian Russell. Conway. Lyons. That's Hopkinson. Saints tackling very loose at the moment. Wakefield bring it right. Lucky to get away with that. Lazenby though, with a punch on. Gittins, Steve Evans, Steve Evans, now. The Saints tackling there, it has got to be said, was non-existent. Non-existent, Ron. Well, they came back there again, saw the uh, gap, Gittins created the space, fed on to Steve Evans in support. He saw the gap side through to the right-hand corner and touches down for a try. 
Two tries in rapid succession for Wakefield. Uh, two tries in the in three minutes. Just a bit of lax play there. Let Wakefield in again. Steve Diamond lining up to attempt this conversion from the touchline. So possibly 30 odd yards out from the posts. Crossfield is unlucky with the last attempt. I think he just hit the posts. But anyway, takes it to the right this time. No goal. 28 points to 11. Saints in the lead now. Yes, I'm sure Coach Murphy will have a few words to say about that. And Paul Lawson to kick off. And Diamond offloads to Russell Klein. Once again, come inside, looking for the ball. Nigel Bell. Right, goes forward. The Beavers should pick this ball up for the Saints and start to uh, drive forward. Doesn't get to pass the first line of Wayfield defenders. Tony Burke. Inside, where's he can upload? Jarvis, Jarvis to Halliwell. So he likes to get the ball away out of the tackle, Jarvis, sucking uh, three, four men in. Allen, Clark, holding. Roy Haggerty. The excellent tackle by uh, the Wakefield Silver Lions. Come away with it. John Lyons done extremely well since coming onto the field. Tackle comes in there from Steve Hallimow. Stuart Smith. Lyons. Gittins. Nigel Bell to Klein once again. Jarvis takes the ball in the tackle. And the referee Mean, referee Mean has no option there but to uh, penalise Stuart Smith for offside. And saying to make another replacement, Paul Forber for Bill Beavers. Forber in the action virtually immediately. Holding to Burke, passes a poor one, Jarvis retrieves. This is Wakefield defence that certainly have it in for Pat Jarvis this afternoon. And just to shock us all, referee uh, Mean penalises the Wakefield three quarters for lying up. with a very good uh, kick to touch. Spectators uh, beginning to drift away now. See if Saints can make uh, any more impression on this game in the last few minutes. Meanwhile, from the far side of the field, the linesman must have seen something untoward. Points the flag, accusingly. And the outcome, needed to say, is a penalty. To St Helens, Laughlin will kick to touch. Well, let's hope the, the Saints can finish this game 
with a flourish. First man in. Mean interferes with the tackle. Now, oh, most controversial incident. Looked like the Wakefield prop forward. Number eight. Took exception to the way referee Mean was uh, trying to break up the uh, the rook. We've seen players sent off for less wrong. Yes, he's uh, uh, shepherding them back there. Say it's going to take a quick play of the ball. They won't get back. Uh, he's been a bit uh, up and down. He sent Platy off before for something which didn't look half as bad as things that's gone on. Anyway, say it's in possession, attacking them. Yes, the tackles come in thick and fast. There's only one outcome. Roy Haggerty running wide. The defence stretched. Outcome yet another try for St Helens. That's 38. Uh, sorry, 32 points to 11. Ron. Well, from that uh, penalty kick that we got from that incident over on the far side, the ball came over, Tony Burke being bundled down in front of the sticks. Uh, I think it was Brett Clark acting half-back, took it on his own, nearly went through on his own, threw a long pass out to Roy Agatey, lurking on the far side, and uh, Agatey went over in the corner. 32 points to 11, Saints further in the lead. Well, Lachlan going to line up for this kick. Perhaps the crowd uh, expecting a few more points today from this uh, against this lowly Wakefield. But anyway, 32 points to 11. Saints in the lead with Lachlan going to line up for this conversion. Thank you, Ron. Oh, Lachlan gives it plenty of height. Unfortunately, he doesn't add to his uh, rather considerable tally. And there goes the Hooter, the final score. St Helens at 32, Wakefield Trinity 11. <laughs>